Hello friends, welcome back to another awesome day. Day 53 of the 100 days of hell with Python algo trading. Today, we'll be learning about the chapter 5, which is theoretical pricing models, in which first we'll touch on the importance of probability, then we'll learn about the expected value, and then we'll learn a little bit about the black scholes model. In this session, we'll just touch the base, just the theoretical part, and in the upcoming videos, we'll build brick by brick and we'll move on to the advanced topics. So first of all, let's understand what is probability. Probability is the likelihood of any future events. So when we talk about the trading, what happens? Let's say stock Apple currently trading at $100. Now there are only two possibilities. One, either it will go down, let's say 90 or it will go up, let's say 110. Means we can say that there is 50% chance of going up and 50% chance of going down. But in real life trading, it doesn't happen. There are multiple possible outcomes. Somehow, we all are trying to find out that possible outcome. It is not possible for anyone to completely predict the market because markets are uncertain. There is no certainty, right? It can go anytime up, it can go anytime down. So we all are trying to find the small edge on which we can make money. So let me give you a few examples of this. Let's say you want to find the expected value, right? Expected value. And what is the formula for expected value probability of your winning and the amount of win minus probability of your losing and the amount you will lose okay so let's say you have a coin and when you toss this you have only two possible outcomes one is head and another is tell if you win you will get ten dollars if you lose you will get ten dollars and we know that the probability here is fifty percent one by two so when i plug these values in this formula what it will become? It will become 0 0.5 into 10 minus 0 0.5 into 10 and it will become 0. So here you can say the expected value is 0 means there is no edge neither for the buyer or nor for the seller right but in trading we just need a small edge and that small edge can become huge when we talk about multiple number of trades. Let's say now the winning probability has changed and you are making a trade. So you have already calculated that you have 51% chance of winning this trade. So I can write it like this 0.51 chance of winning. And if you win the trade, you will get $10. And we know that if the winning percentage is 51, then the losing percentage will be 49. And if you lose, then you will have to pay $10. So ultimately you will get 0 0.2, right? EV. And when we talk about this EV in terms of multiple number of trades, let's say you are making 1000 number of trades and then you will be having an edge in this. You can say you have 1% edge in the winning, right? So this is what everyone is trying to find out, the edge. There are various methods people are trying to find the edge and few of them are the theoretical pricing models. You must have heard about the binomial pricing models black schools pricing models we will learn about all these in detail in the upcoming videos but for now this is just the introduction now let's understand what are the models so we can think of a scaled down or more easily managed representation of any real world thing so let's say when we talk about the model of any aeroplane so means we can say a miniature model right similarly before building a huge construction project First, the engineers build a model so that they can show to the investors and they can modify the things before the real world implementation, right? And why we create models? Because we can just estimate the possible outcomes. So when we talk about the models in option pricing, what are these? These are nothing but just the mathematical formulas. That can be a tool to establish a trading plan so we can say these are the mathematical formulas that can be a tool to establish a trading plan then these mathematical models can remove the emotion we know that the emotions are the biggest hurdle of a traders life right so these models can remove the emotion next you also have to make sure that these models do not make your trading decisions right these just show you a path and how you can get the possible outcomes. The decisions will be taken completely based on the input and outputs, right? I can write it. The models doesn't make your, doesn't make your 
investment decisions doesn't make your investment decisions and we know that option prices are subject to many unforeseen variables right we can say subject to many unforeseen variables and one of them is supply and demand correct hopefully until this it is clear right it was completely theoretical part now when we talk about the option pricing models let me write it option pricing models there are two things one is input and another is output right the quality of the output is completely dependent on the quality of input it's very clear right so let me write it input and here we have output and we know that the quality of output is completely dependent on the quality of input so let's write one by one what are the inputs and what are the outputs in, in terms of option pricing so the first input is stock price second is strike price third is expiration date right fourth is cost of money which is equal to the interest rate minus dividends right and the final output and the most important thing is the volatility is the volatility and out of all these variables all these are known we know the value already right but nobody knows the value of volatility and the results are always impacted by the volatility the more accurately you are able to estimate the volatility the better the results will be right so when we have a model and when we give some inputs definitely there will be some output and what is the output when we talk about the option pricing models the outputs are call values and put values and all together we can say these are the option prices or we can say the premium right and these are the theoretical values so now when we talk about the whole model we have the inputs we have the outputs and the most difficult thing is volatility and we will learn this volatility in upcoming sessions in very deep and comprehensive a way that you will be having no doubt after this series right so when we talk about the option pricing models there are multiple studies but one of the most important is the black scholes model and that also will have to learn thoroughly in the upcoming videos right but here in this video i'll just show you a glance that this is the formula and here the cs is the call option price we are trying to find the call option price right so this n here this capital n is the cumulative distribution function then t will be the time left until maturity in years then s will be the stock price k will be strike price and r will be risk free rate right this r will be risk free rate and this sigma is the volatility right but there are few limitations in the black scholes model that it is only for the european options not for the american options and it has also taken the volatility as the constant but we know that that is the most volatile part right we'll learn about this it is also very useful in the upcoming videos right but for now you just have a look at this formula and don't worry about this right i'll explain you everything in detail in upcoming session there are also various other pricing models such as the extension of the black scholes model we also have the cox ross rubinstein model which is the binomial pricing model and that can be applied on the american options also right so this was it for the basic uh, theoretical pricing models we will deep dive on all these concepts in upcoming sessions until then please keep revising your concepts and i'll see you in the next video in which you will start with the volatility that's very interesting and that is very useful right so until then bye bye take care have a nice day see you